put it in. Ow! Weird, the Al Yankovic story. It's a very serious biopic. There's choreography in this movie. There's big musical numbers, big party scenes. You didn't tell me that this was going to be a polka party. There's a lot of action. But I think what's going to surprise people is that we're telling a really good story. Our movie begins with Weird Al as a child who wants nothing more than to be the world's greatest parody songwriter. Factory will make a man out of you. I don't want to work at the factory. I want to make songs. Did you hear that, Mary? Well, we got a regular Bing Crosby on our hands, don't we? He meets an accordion salesman one day who comes to his house and gives young Al Yankovic his first accordion. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous instrument? Hey! When his father, a grizzled factory worker, finds out about this, he destroys Al's accordion. This is my own good boy! No! Al vows that someday I'm gonna be not technically the best, but arguably the most famous accordion player in a very specific genre of music. I think it's sort of a preemptive strike is what he's doing. He's sort of dropping the mic. He dropped the mic on the accordion. Later in life, Al sets out on his own and starts writing parody songs. Along the way, there are obviously ups and downs, including a torrid and tempestuous love affair with Madonna. Do I know you? Madonna. I did not know anything about Madonna's history with Al Yankovic, so you can imagine my shock. She's sort of the femme fatale, and it's very profitable for an artist if Al Yankovic covers one of their songs. So Madonna is just exploiting him for his fame and fortune. Have you heard my new single, Like a Virgin? Is that song autobiographical? Yes. I technically am a virgin, except for the fact that I've had a lot of sex. And he rises to become, as we all know, the most popular musician in the history of the earth. Oh, Al, you can't smoke in here. I totally deserve that. I knew a lot about him, but I hadn't known that he goes down a really dark path. You're all a bunch of slaves! Which leads to a scandalous and alcohol-fueled debaucherous lifestyle that has its ups and downs and is full of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And so it's a it's sort of standard biopic there. What is him the right? This could be great publicity. Sell a few more albums? No, I don't need to sell more albums! Dan is sitting there giving me his best dramatic performance with tears in his eyes. He throws himself into whatever he's doing. I genuinely feel like everything else I've done in my career has got me ready to do this movie, honestly. I think Madonna's a bad influence on you. <laughs> what? No offense. I think you're really not gonna be ready for this telling of it. People think they know who Weird Al Yankovic is, but after seeing this movie, they're going to realize that they had absolutely no idea. It's an odd process having your life portrayed on screen, but um, I recommend it. If anybody comes up to you and offers to make some kind of major motion picture biopic, I say go for it. Let them do it. It's, you know, it's, it's a unique experience everybody should do at least once. I'm the weird one. I am the weird one.